it, uh, when I start talking about the Cougar pilots, it's a little personal. And uh, all I know is that uh, uh, yesterday, uh, meeting with the family of the pilots, uh, the family that's uh, from away from BC that are here, uh, uh, one thing the family from away uh, is noticing it's, uh, is what probably the pilot from Newfoundland's family already know, that the support they're getting here. It's, it's amazing. And uh, we're hoping that uh, the, the end result is this, is that, as I said earlier, everybody, the, uh, you know, the 16 passengers and our two guys are all on the beach, as we refer to in the business, on the beach. Still with tonight's top story, some encouraging news today about the lone survivor of the crash. Robert Decker remains in hospital in critical but stable condition. Investigators expect to speak with him later this week. Robert Decker worked at the weather station on board the Sea Rose FPSO. He was the only person who survived the crash. These pictures were taken just before noon on Thursday, shortly after he was plucked from the water where the chopper ditched. Eastern Health says he's in critical but stable condition in the intensive care unit at the Health Sciences Center. One encouraging sign today is that police hope to speak with Mr. Decker later this week. Well, yes, uh, we were in constant contact with, with the hospital, but his current, op uh, his current update, uh, we're not aware of specifically other than the fact that we've been told that he'll be available later this week for an interview by us. Over the weekend, Robert Decker's family released a statement to the public. Among other things, it stated, we would like to acknowledge the many prayers offered and the supportive words said about Robert over the last few days by his many friends and co-workers. At this time, however, we ask that you also remember in your thoughts and prayers the other families who are dealing with such a profound loss. Of course, we'll have much more on our top story in just a moment. Right now, let's take a look at some economic news strength in the financial sector.